choice is yours. You could either unlock the true future of gaming, editing and creation or regret your GPU decision for years. In just 30 seconds, you will know why your next $500 could either future-proof your performance for years or completely waste it. NVIDIA's latest monsters, the 5070 and 5060 Ti. Let's break it down specs, performance and my take on where they actually shine. Specs showdown. Starting with raw horsepower, the 5070 is the undisputed beast here. It's picking 6144 CUDA cores, that's 33% more than the 5060 Ti's 4608 cores. And a 192-bit memory bus paired with GDDR7, this gives it 672 GBs of bandwidth. Blowing past the 5060 Ti's 192-bit GDDR6 setup, even with a slightly lower reference boost clock 2.51 GHz versus 5060 Ti's 2.57 GHz. The 5070's sheer scale crushes in compute power 30.9 TFLOPs versus the 5060 Ti's 34.8 TFLOPs. But here's the kicker, actual gaming clocks. The 5070 FE, 3826MHz 3, in my tests, outplacing even the overclocked PNY 5060 Ti. Nvidia's architecture optimizations are wild. Gaming performance. At 4K Ultra, the 5070 dominates by 32% on an average. Games like A Plague Kill, Requiem C, a 43% lead, while memory hungry titles like Indiana Jones is still favor 5070 by 5%, even with its 12 GB's VRAM. At 1440 pixels, the gap narrows slightly to 31%, but the 5070 stays ahead in every single test. Dropping to 1080 pixels, CPU bottlenecks kick in, but a 5070 is still clings to a 28% edge. The 5060 Ti, it's not slouch. But it's clear the 5070 is built for high resolutions. Ray tracing and DLSS. Both cards, Leverage, DLSS 4, and Blackwell 4th generation RT cores, but the 5070's extra muscle shines here too. At 4K RT Ultra, it leads by 30%, crushing in demanding titles like Cyberpunk 2077. And the contrary, the 5060 Ti 16GB can handle RT at 1440 pixels beautifully. But if you are chasing 4K ray traced glory, the 5070 is the only real contender. Prices and availability. Now the ugly truth. Good luck buying either at MSRP. The 5070 launched at $549, while the 5060 Ti 16GB sits at $429. But scalpers and stock shortages have pushed prices way higher. If you are eyeing 1440 pixels or 4K gaming, the 5070's performance per dollar still makes it a smarter long-term investment, if you can stomach the premium. The 5060 Ti is still better for 1080 pixels or budget builds. But don't expect miracles at 4K without DLSS cranked to performance mode. Well, my take on this whole story is, who wins? If you are a 4K gamer or want future-proofing AI tasks, the GDDR7 bandwidth is a monster for training. The RTX 5070 is your card. It's the sweetest spot between prices and power in the Blackwell lineup. But if you are on a tight budget or game mostly at 1080 pixels or 440 pixels, the RTX 5060 Ti 16GB delivers stellar performance for less. Just pair it with DLSS and a beefy CPU. Either way, Nvidia's Blackwell architecture is a generational leap. But remember, no matter which you choose, DLSS 4 is your best friend. If you have any confusions or questions about these cards, you can definitely ask us in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video till here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.